think every teacher, especially toward the end of the term, has one more thing they'd like to leave with their students, as in if you don't remember anything else, remember this. And this presentation is that for me. You can see that this is a puzzle. It's called the puzzle of life. Not so much a magic trick or illusion, but a story. A story called the shape of who we are. Apparently, a rectangle. The frame is the world around us, country, culture, society. The puzzle pieces are the parts of who we are, what define us, our dreams, our desires, our memories. And for the moment, it all fits, self, society. Let's move the world aside and take a closer look at the pieces that form the shape of who we are. First, obvious, our accomplishments and goals, all that stuff we put on a resume. Our values, what we believe, our sense of right and wrong. The people in our lives who've instilled those values in us, who know all our secrets and love us anyway. The people we've lost, and yet who live on as we honor their memory by how we live on. Inevitably, mistakes, failure, regret, which push us to make amends and seek forgiveness, move forward. The illusion is that these pieces fit, always together, always the same, tightly framed. But things get loose. We bounce a check, bend up the car, really hurt someone we love. That's when the other pieces move back in. Maybe reconfigure, pick up the slack. And because we generally have a firm foundation, in fairly short order, we can rebuild the overall shape of who we are. We're actually pretty good at dealing with more or less regular drama, but now and then our lives pivot into a major transition and high drama, where for better or worse, it seems we're standing outside ourselves, looking in on a whole new world. This was you and your parents the day you left for Texas Tech. Turns out that going off to college is good practice for the day we land that dream job. Or the day we don't. Or the day we lose it. Parents, spouse, kids in our lives. Or not. Or not anymore. A major health crisis for us or someone we love, these things shake the foundations where everything before seems obsolete, everything ahead unknown, and we don't know how or where or if we fit in. And then we're in the deep end and it all seems a shambles. High drama, home, work, health. In my life through the years and through today, I have been well and truly shambled by all those things several times each. That's how I know this is true. It is deeply human to be brave and with a little bit of courage, perhaps a change in perspective, we see there are people in this new world that know where the big pieces go, that can help us rebuild the foundation. And as we line things up and make our way, we learn. We see not only how to rebuild the overall shape of who we are, but right in the middle of these once shambled pieces is new space where we fit right in. And we come equipped. We still have our skills, our values, our support system, maybe a little more courage a lot more empathy for having gone this far. So where do we put what we bring? By now, it might be as straightforward as one, two, three, and right next to where we are is even more new space for all we have left to give. This is the shape of who we are again. And of the outside world, a lot of moving parts in this story, pieces twisting 
turning, reconfiguring, a couple new ones right in the middle. As the pivot straightens and we move through the transition, we learn some more. We learn that all we are right now and all that we still have, those dreams, desires, and memories, it all fits as before. And who we are in the puzzle of life is whole again. That's my last word. Thank you very much.